Hello everyone. So, you're all here because you want help getting ENSP installed on Windows 10 in 2024. Well, let's quickly chat about why you want ENSP and exactly what it is. Well, the chances are you probably got a good idea because you're already here. Either way, ENSP is Huawei's Enterprise Network Simulation Program. That's actually what it's short for. And we are going to be using it to virtualize and simulate Huawei's enterprise networking devices on a computer without having to cough up money to get their devices. You can use this to either study or learn more about Huawei's kit. You can also use it to test before you purchase and deploy. This is obviously going to be advantageous if you're studying towards any of Huawei's enterprise networking certifications like HCIA Datacom or something along those lines. Now, being 2024, there is a limitation. ENSP has not been updated for several years, and the devices are running either VRP5 or VRP8 with terms and conditions. Those terms and conditions being if you install the missing images. I have got a video for that, so either click the little card popping up now or wait for a recommendation at the end of this video and you can get those extra missing images that are not included in the base installation of version 1.3. So what do you require to actually run ENSP? Well, first up, you're gonna need a dual core CPU, preferably one that's got virtualization support. You'll need at least four gigabytes of RAM. I'm not too worried about the DDR level and stuff like that. It's more about the capacity because we are gonna be doing virtualization. Also, because Huawei's ENSP relies on Oracle VirtualBox, you must make sure that if you've got client Hyper-V installed, it has been removed. Oracle VirtualBox and Hyper-V conflict with one another like you cannot believe. Now, chances are if you've got Windows 10 Home Edition, you're fine because client Hyper-V is only available for Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise. You also need to make sure that NPCAP is not installed. NPCAP is part of the newer versions of Wireshark and possibly NMAP as well if you've got that installed on your computer. So you'll need to remove those and NPCAP as well because Huawei's ENSP uses an older version of Wireshark and still uses WinPCAP. Also, you're gonna to have to have downloaded the files from me. See the description for the download links. The two main things you're gonna want are the ENSP installers and Oracle VirtualBox version 5.2.44. Believe you me, you're gonna want that specific version. But let's get into it. All right, so I have already downloaded the stuff ahead of time. So I've got my ENSP installers and the VirtualBox version 5.2.44 installer. Let me go ahead and extract that quickly. Right, once you've extracted the ENSP installer, you will have an ENSP V100R00TC something 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 and an ENSP V100R003C something something something. It's the 1.2 and version 1.3 installers respectively. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to do the version 1.2 installation. Obviously, if it prompts us, you say yes for the user account control. All right, first up, the ENSP installation wizard. So it's nothing too hectic here. It's next to start it. I agree to the license. Not that anyone ever reads it. Uh, di installation directory seems fine to me. Start menu folder. Yeah, that's fine. Next. Do you want a desktop icon? Yeah, why not? Now, one of the things that we're going to have here is version 1.2 will install WinPCAP, an old version of Wireshark, and VirtualBox version 5.1.24, which will cause you problems if you have an up-to-date version of Windows 10. Currently, I am running with the Windows 10 22H2 build, which apparently is going to be the latest version from Microsoft. So let's begin the installation of ENSP. This may take a few minutes, I will fast forward this section so you don't have to sit here forever. All right, now the installer wizard for 
WinP cap next. I agree. Install. Finish. That was quick. Then comes Wireshark. Next. I agree. Next. 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 Don't worry about installing WinP cap because we already did that in the previous step. Install. Next. That's yeah, fine. Finish. And then comes the virtual box installer. Next. 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 Yes. Install. Yeah, you can install. Now I'm going to untick that start the virtual box because it's just going to crash because modern versions of Windows 10 block such an old version of Oracle Virtual Box. So I'm just going to leave it there and say finish. I'm not going to launch ENSP yet and I don't care about the update log so I'll untick those two boxes and say finish. Now I will take a step back and go update the installation to ENSP version 1.3. This one will only update ENSP. It will not bring along any of the supporting software. So if you haven't got that installed in the previous step, you're gonna get an error trying to do this installation. So please do that 1.2 install first. Yes, I sort of trust it. Very similar to the 1.2 installation wizard. Next, I agree. Next, 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 next. Here it just checks to see if the stuff is already installed and it can tell it is. So we say next, install. And we get comfortable. I'll fast forward this again for you all. I don't want to launch NSP just yet, and I really don't care about those update logs considering how out of date they are. Finish. Now, do me a favor and be sure that you've got the VirtualBox version 5.2.44 installer from me because without this, you're gonna have a bit of a problem. I'll show you what the problem is. If I try and launch the version of Oracle VirtualBox that came with ENSP, Windows 10 blocks it because it's too old and it says either learn more or close. So I'm just gonna close it and you'll see there, I extracted VirtualBox, run it. Now version 5.2.44 is the newest version of Oracle VirtualBox that ENSP works with and also is not blocked by Windows 10, at least not at the moment. Finish. Sorry, I have a thing about always launching programs myself. Let's check on VirtualBox, see if it launches this time. Yep, seems fine. Please, if it asks for a new version, just say okay, but don't upgrade it. And you'll see you've got these VMs over here. Those were created by ENSP. Leave them be, but just check that they're there. So I can close that. It'll run in the background when we use ENSP. So let's launch ENSP. Every time you launch it, it's gonna ask for admin rights. Just say yes. The reason why is because ENSP does some pretty cool stuff like it is able to bridge your virtual topologies with the physical network adapter of your computer, which is pretty cool. So if you are using the Windows Firewall, you're going to get these little security alerts. You can trust it, let it through. What's the worst? You just get the Chinese spying on you in addition to whoever else is spying on you. All right, and every time you launch, I was joking, by the way. Uh, every time you launch ENSP, it's always going to say, hey, do you want to make sure this has been let through the firewall? Just say, okay. If you don't get a firewall prompt like I just did, you should be okay. Because whatever you are using as your software firewall, is probably okay with ENSP. So this is the normal standard welcoming screen. You've got the new topo over here in the top left corner. Click it to get a blank workspace. So I'm gonna check with four key devices. I'm gonna make sure I've got a router over here selected and I'm gonna choose the AR2220. It's an ideal router for many situations, at least for learning and playing around. Then from a switching perspective, these are the switches over here just to the left of the router. And I'm going to grab an S5700. 
please be aware the CE68 and uh, 12-800 are not going to work unless you add those extra images. Then for the wireless, I'm going to grab an AC6005 and an AP2050. These four devices should be enough for me to do the absolute essentials. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight them all. Right click, or I can press the green play button up there. It's my choice, your choice, whatever. Have fun. And let's hold our breath and hope it works. Might take longer on your computer. I don't know how good your computer is. Might be faster on your computer. Again, I don't know. But once that happens, you can either right click on the individual device and say CLI, or you can go for that little button in the toolbar that says open all CLIs, and that'll pop open every CLI. First time that you launch a switch, you'll get another firewall prompt like this. Just let it through, and it should be all good. Just move these windows around and see what we've got going here. So these hashes are the devices busy booting up. It can take a while, so please be patient. But if you get to the bottom part of the screen over here and it's still doing hashes, you might have a problem. Now the switch has been up and running for a while. Let's just click into that window and press enter a few times. Yep. You see I've got a new prompt there, which is nice. The root has come up already as well. Lovely. The access point is up. That's normal. And as usual, the access controller or AC1 is taking forever. That one will normally be the last to launch if you're testing these four devices like I am. And there we have it. That one will say AC6005 in the prompt instead of a Huawei. Fantastic. So we've got a working installation of ENSP. As I said, make sure that you do upgrade VirtualBox. That is the key thing to getting it working. However, Besides that, I do want to warn you guys that sometimes ENSP can be a bit of a challenge to install. If you do have any problems, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out a bit there. Otherwise, thanks for watching and happy labbing.